Welcome back, survivors. Today is January 16th, 2024, and that means the new enhanced version for Saints and Sinners is out. Some aspects of the update were pretty underwhelming, but that being said, I think the update brought a lot of good improvements to the game. So first, I'm gonna show you everything that changed in the new update and every single new feature that I've noticed. So stay tuned so you can see everything. And also, if you found something that's not in this video, tell me down in the comments below. So first off, they upgraded the lighting and the shadows in the game. And you can really see the difference in the dark. <laughs> the zombies look better and they have their own shadow to them now. Look at that, look at the shadows and everything. Here we are in the catacombs and here's the statue they showed us in the trailer. And it does look way better than before. And the lighting in here is pretty nice. As well as the way light reflects off of weapons and objects. I mean, take a look at this bow. This looks amazing compared to before. Another thing I noticed is that they changed the gory effects on walkers and kind of on your weapons. Look, in this room in Rampart, they even added a dripping blood effect. Here's another look at it in Via Corolla. Pretty cool if you ask me. Now go! <coughs> and the blood on my axe. Whoa. They also made some changes to the zombie you can get walker guts from. The walker's stomach now spits out blood as it walks. Which is actually really realistic. It falls on the ground. <laughs> and something that a lot of people wanted the enhanced version now spawns way more zombies than the Quest 2 version. Here, see for yourself. Now that I've waited for the bells to ring, we can really see how many zombies there is. I let the bells ring for about two minutes and look at how many zombies spawn. Oh my god. The quest 3 can handle a million times more zombies. <laughs> This is a huge win for Saints and Sinners and for the Quest 3. Thank you, Skydance. And lastly, they made some environmental changes. Around the map, they've added new foliage and vines on structures and buildings. Some of the textures on brick buildings have gotten better. And on houses, you can see vapor coming out of the chimneys. And also on some fires. And I'm not 100% sure if this is a new change, but the plants now sway in the wind. You can also see dust clouds in many different locations, dust particles, and some more moths around the lights. And I gotta say, Skydance did a really good job. Now let's just pray that they finally update the second game. I mean, come on, it's almost been an entire year now. But hey, at least we got something. And another small change I found is that your character is finally strong enough to pick up zombies now. You can fling them around with your hand. 
and your character finally isn't just weak and can't pick up zombies. <clears throat> and now, let's go over some of the things I think they could have done better or improved upon. And trust me, it's not a lot. The first and biggest thing I wish they'd change is the texture and graphics of the ground. It's so blurry and just looks terrible. And it makes the game not feel real at all. Like come on, this is supposed to be leaves and grass. The street looks like this as well. And it's not something you could just brush off because you literally see the ground everywhere you go because you walk everywhere. I think this will be an easy fix that would drastically change the gameplay experience. So Skydance, you might want to take some notes. Uh, I wish I was funny. Nah, but for real Skydance. Look, use the money I transferred to your account and patch this shit! Ow! And I even got some footage of the last mission of Saints and Sinners 1 on the enhanced version. So if you wonder what that looked like, I'm gonna play it for you now. Back off! Take one step toward me and I really bring the bell. Every walker in a five mile radius will descend upon this place and tear everyone apart. You don't want to do that. Just because we're safe in here doesn't mean you can ring that bell and kill all those people. That you, tourist? Oh, thank God. Look, you have to talk some sense into her. If she rings that bell... Didn't you hear them out there? Needlessly slaughtering each other when they should be unified. They have always been stupid and cruel. Even before the world went to shit, they're fucked up philosophies. They're petty, treachery. Even the innocent. Their pathetic desperation. They all twisted my priorities, blinded me to the truth. I should have been looking after me and mine all along. I allowed them to take her away from me. They are the reason my daughter is dead. Taurus, she's lost it. Listen to her. We can't let her ring that bell. One of us has to kill her. Please, don't force me to do it. I'm glad you're here, tourist. To bear witness. The slate needs to be wiped clean. We are out of time. Drown in death, motherfuckers. Every last one of you, drown. What's done is done. I ain't got nothing left. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Thanks for all the support lately. I really appreciate it. But as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one, survivors.